are you hosting courses on Canva? In this video, I'll share with you how easy it is to host mini courses in just four simple steps. And don't forget to stay till the end and I'll share three ways to make money selling mini courses on Canva websites. So let's get straight into step number one. First of all, you have to create your content. So in this video, we are assuming that you have already created your videos, your audios, and your PDFs, and whatever it is that you're going to be sharing in your paid program. Now, the good thing is, if you have Canva Pro, then you get one terabyte of storage, which means that you can upload your videos, put them into a folder, and drag and drop them onto your Canva website template. And that makes it super, super easy to do. And then hyperlinks to whatever it is that you need them to go and download wherever you are hosting your PDFs, your workbooks, or anything else, affiliate links that you might have inside your course. So that's step number one, you have to create your content and upload anything uh, into Canva most importantly, your videos. And then once you have your content all ready for you to put into your course, then step number two is to grab a template. Now, this is one of my friends. Templates are absolutely divine. And if you'd like to check out these templates, I'll have a link above or in the description below. This is one that I'm using as a demo. And the reason why I love Amber's templates is that she has 21 different layouts. And one of the layouts is your terms and conditions and your privacy. And also she has the sales page for you to be able to sell your courses. So it makes it super, super easy to have the same layouts and to be able to have everything that you need to be able to sell courses. Otherwise, you can create your own. You can see here an example of this is a real live course that I have hosted on Canva. And you can see here, this is one of my layouts. And yes, you can grab the template for this as well. So once you have your content, step number one, and you have chosen a template or you want to design your own, step number three is just to upload the videos and you can upload the videos and then put them into a folder. That's what I like to do under the projects. If you choose a course, just create a folder and put um, all your videos in for that specific course under that folder, and then you can just drag and drop them onto the page, which is step number four. All you have to do is upload your videos and then drag and drop them onto the page. So you can have different layouts. So with this template of Amber's, I went and create different layouts that I wanted for my videos to be playing in my course. So the one that comes with the template was this layout here. And that layout here doesn't expand. So that's perfect if you're doing a face to camera. If you're gonna be doing something like a how to, I like them to be bigger. And you can put them inside a frame. All right, and then you can drag and drop. So you can host it on its own, or you can host it inside of a frame. So then I would just go to my uploads, to my videos, and if this is my tutorial number one, which it is, then I would just drag and drop it into the frame. Now, just be mindful that the first video, which may be the welcome video that you have at the top, this one here is a welcome video, you might have that on autoplay. So make sure that you check the playback and you can have that on autoplay because that's gonna welcome people to your program. That's the introduction. But then every other one that you have for the course training material, or whatever it is that you're uploading, you don't want it to play automatically. You just want it to play when people get to that section. All right, so that's how easy it is. So you can put it into a frame or if you don't wanna put it into a frame, then you can just drag and drop it onto the page like that. All right, and you do the same thing. You just go playback and you turn it off so it doesn't play automatically. So you can choose how you want to have your videos. If you want it small because it's only gonna be an audio, then you can have it in this layout here that comes with the template because that's perfect. And then you can give them any instructions and then you can add as many downloads. If you need two buttons, then you just copy and paste and you can have two downloads like that. And then to link them, all you have to do is click on it, 
click link and then you would paste where the PDF is hosted and then they'll be able to download. So that's how easy it is. You choose the layout that you want. For me, if it's going to be, I mainly do how to. I like it to be nice and big so that people can see what I'm doing. But the most exciting part is, is that you can host up to a terabyte so lots and lots of mini courses on these one page websites. And then once you have all your content in there, module one, module two, module three, whatever it is that you want. Now don't forget to stay to the end because I'm gonna share with you some really, really cool features for those of you who wanna use it for multiple different ways, all right? So that's how easy it is. And then when you go and publish it, all you need to do is go publish like this when you're finished, and then choose your URL. Now, if you want to add a domain, you can get a domain, but I do all mine free because I have a WordPress with a redirect, and so I don't pay for any domain names. I'm hosting all my courses on here. I already have my pro account. I had it before Canva websites, so uh, I host it on here, and absolutely free. I don't pay for the domain. I don't pay for the hosting of the video. I just upload them, and you get a terabyte with pro, and you get unlimited websites. I don't know how much megabytes you get with Canva free, but you only get five free websites. So it's a no brainer if you're paying externally for expensive courses, uh, platforms, then you may as well come and do it on here. Now I wouldn't host my high ticket $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 dollar program. This is perfect for many courses. I'd say under $200 is perfect to be able to host these on the platform. And then all you have to do is go to publishing settings, write in what the description is. You can change the favicon if you want to. Come down to advanced settings and this is where you'd make it password protected. Search engine visibility enabled? Probably not. I don't want it in the search engines because it's going to be password protected. I'd turn that on. And if you want to be able to link preview is disabled, there's no need for it because it's not going to show up in the search engines. Now you can choose your own password or you can keep the one that they have there. But I'm just going to show what happens when you do. So I'm just going to publish this and then I'm going to unpublish it. But I just want to show you what happens. You get that, you go publish website and it is going to publish it as a password protected website that you can sell on a Canva sales page. So that's why I want you to get excited about the template bundle because it has everything from your sales page to your course hosting page and all these other, even uh, templates for lots of other things as well, okay? And so the password is there, view website, I've copied it. And then when you come here and you send people to go and get access, which I give them via PDF, I give them the link to this website, I give them the code to opt in, and then I go, I'm not a robot, and then I just do whatever it tells me just to make sure that I am a real person, and then continue, and then it'll let me on the inside. And then when you get on the inside, there is, I don't need to say that, this is it. So you come down here and you'll see the downloads to whatever printables that you've got for them, your workbooks, your downloads, your whatever it is that you're giving away in your course. And then you come here and they can come and play and watch the video tutorials and then work they, their way through. The cool thing is, is that you can animate it so I like to have some of them animated, or if you don't want to animate, you don't have to animate. So that's how cool it is for you to use. Now I promised that I was gonna give you some really cool ideas for you to be able to sell courses on Canva. So idea number one, obviously, is like I have here. This is a real course here where I am selling an evergreen program. So I have the sales page, that sends them, they buy, and they get given the PDF with the instructions to opt in, and then there is all the course content. So these are all the links to download, the templates that they get with the course. If you want the link, I'll leave it in the description below for this course so that you can see what it's like. And then all the tutorials are here. So this is perfect for those of you who want to do low ticket evergreen courses. The other thing that you can do, which I said I was going to show you that's super, super cool. If you were doing something like a masterclass, 
or maybe a three-day challenge where every day they got a new worksheet or they got a new video and you wanted a place to be able to host the recordings for the next day and everybody didn't have to wait to get the next day's email, what you can do is you can have introduction, so this would be shown, and then you could have the replay, but they don't get that until after you've done the live training. So how cool is this? Watch. You can actually, I'm going to edit this design and show you, I can turn this off. So I have all the content and everything all set up, but they're not allowed to have access to it until day two and day three. So for them not to see it, all you do is click that and click that and turn it off. And what's going to happen is they're not going to have access to this until you turn it on. So you can actually have day by day info summit and they only get the content. It's all preset up, but they don't see it until you turn it back on. And watch, this is what happens when you publish the website. I'm going to show you again, republish the website. When you go back and look at it, you're not going to be able to see it anymore because I've got it hidden. All the content is still there. How amazing is that to have it all sitting there ready for people to have access to it and the next time they opt in, you've turned it back on. So let's go and view the website, come in here and there's the introduction and then the video, see how it says module one, module two? You could just have the words coming soon. And then when it gets to day two, because that could say day one, day two, and day three, and you have turned it off, then all you have to do is turn it back on, publish it again, and when they go in on day two, the next day's content and worksheets is there. When you go to day three, the next day's content and worksheets are there. So that's another way that you can use it as well. And then the last way is for list building. If you, and I use it for list building as well, it's really, really cool. If you wanna do just maybe a webinar and you want it password protected, you can send them to an opt-in and they opt in and then after they opt in, you send them to a page that has the URL to this website plus the password, they opt in and then they get to watch the pre-recorded webinar. But what's so cool is, is that after they've watched the webinar, directly underneath you can have your offer. So it's a free list builder upsell opportunity and it's all hosted on Canva websites. How cool is that? Now don't forget, go and grab the templates. I will have the links in the description below and if you have a question, then leave it below and I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. And if you're enjoying these Canva tutorials, make sure to like and share so that you don't miss any of the new content coming soon. Enjoy!